Hi everybody, we're going to work on Pashimatanasana, um, seated forward fold. Uh, this Pashima in Sanskrit means western or west, so the, they're speaking in terms of the back of the body, the west side of the body, so we want to make sure that you're sitting up very, very, very straight. Um, and first thing we're going to do for this pose is we're going to rotate the legs, the thighs here from the outer to the inner, rotating the inner thigh down toward your yoga mat. Do the same on the opposite side. Then make sure you feel the sitting bones, press the top legs, your femur bones down, lift up from the sacrum. So press into your lift, your blankets, and lift up. Make sure you've got an extended, lifted spine. And keeping that and pressing through the top legs, you're going to reach forward and take the outer edges of your feet. You'll pull on the outer edges of your feet, draw the toes back toward the kneecaps. Draw the kneecaps toward the quadriceps and the quadriceps toward the waist. And you'll hold that for a moment, lifting the chest, pulling the upper arms back and down. And then as you exhale, you'll continue holding the side edges of the feet. Actually, you're not just holding, you're pulling the side edges of the feet. And fold and take an exhale of the breath as you do that. Bring the head down as far as it can go. Keep reaching through with the front rear cage. Lengthening your side body, lengthening your spine. Moving your spine in toward your yoga mat. Then you'll inhale, make sure your legs are still rotating from the outer to the inner, look up again, pulling the spine in, and then you'll exhale to release. So to go a little bit deeper, we'll move the uh, feet together here. Also, you can again adjust the legs, rotating the thighs from the outer to the inner. I'm going to actually go ahead and drop one of the yoga blankets down, and you can do the same. And then we'll, again, move the buttock flesh from the out, uh, back and out, and then you'll reach forward again. This time, let's hook around the heels of the feet. Do the same thing with the inhale up, really extend, pull the shoulders down, back. And then we'll exhale, let the elbows move out toward the side and bring the forehead toward the shins. Pull the crown of the head forward, lengthening further, pushing the back of the legs back. And then you can inhale, look up, and exhale, release. One more. Grab one of your yoga blocks, and we'll bring our bend the knees and put the block along the soles of the feet. You want to press into the block, also pull the block into the feet. The heels are grounded on the sticky mat. And then you'll push out through your heels, through your inner feet, engaging kneecaps, quadriceps, skin on the back of the legs, keep the Rib cage on top of the quadriceps and then pull your next out fold. Rotating the legs still. And then you'll inhale. Look up, lifting the spine, pulling the shoulders back and down, and exhale, release. A couple of things here. You want to take this pose for three to four minutes if possible, and you can break it up in those ways there. Unacceptable posture for any seated pose is this. So don't sit like that. Sit with your spine lifted. And that's it for this week. Bye, guys. See you in the evening.